I've drawn the scatter plot for the height of children versus the cups of milk they drink per week. Keep in mind that this is not a coincidence that height is the y variable and it always comes first in the statement of the scatter plot just as I explain here. So height is your y versus or against your x variable cups of milk. So if I ask you to plot y versus x, insert whatever variable names you're given, I mean for you to use the first as the y and the second as the x variable. So looking at this, I've plotted using a scale of fives along the x-axis and I've plotted using a scale going by 10 on the y-axis. I've created a break in the axis though to avoid um, all the data being lumped together in the corner of the graph. So I bring the graph to, um, for visual purposes, I'm bringing it down. So this is used to break the axis. I label my title and each axis and this is my scatter plot with the points um, shown in the coordinate plane. Alright, so how do we interpret this? In this question I'm asking you for three things. First, I want to know if the relationship is linear. What I mean by that is looking at the, the dots or the pairs of, of x and y in other words, the observations, could I imagine a line going through that data? In fact, I could. Now, we're not going to talk about the exact line we're going to choose because there's, you can see, I could put the line like that. I can put the line to go through those points. The rule, actually, about the line is uh, something we're going to discuss in a later unit. Mm, the rule is going to be the line that fits closest to all the points will be the best fit line. But for now, all I want to know, is the relationship linear? In other words, could a line be used to replace those points and be just, just as good as those points? The answer in this case is yes. All right. Is this a strong relationship? In other words, do those pairs or observations fit close to that line, even touch the line? If so, then the relationship is linear and strong. Otherwise, we say the relationship is uh, linear and weak. In this case, we would say the relationship is strong. Finally, is the relationship positive or negative correlation? The way we answer this question is examine as the observations for x go up, what happens to y? As the observations for x go up, the observations for y also seem to go from smaller numbers to larger numbers. We call that a positive relationship. So yes, there is a positive relationship that is linear and a strong linear relationship. Alternately, if the dots look like this, then we could say the relationship is linear, the relationship is strong, but because as the x values get higher, the y values go lower, this would be a, a negative relationship. So in this case, we'd see a strong linear negative relationship. However, for our question, we see a linear, strong, and positive correlation.